Hi, I'm Michael Schechter from abettermess.com, and today I want to talk about how you can create a variety of tasks using the Quick Entry Box and Clipper and OmniFocus. You get started by hitting the keyboard shortcut that brings up the Quick Entry Box. You can set this in the Preferences. Enter in your task, and if you'd like to, you can fill in additional information like project, context, start and due date, and any notes. For the time being, I'm just going to hit save and enter this into our inbox. As you see when we go inside OmniFocus, there it is waiting for us to take further action on. Next up, we're going to go back into the quick entry box, but this time we're going to enter a few items. You fill in what your task is, and we're going to go a little bit further and add in a project, context, and a due date. The OmniFocus screencast isn't a project yet, so by hitting the Command Enter button, what we're actually dealing is creating a brand new project inside of OmniFocus. I fill in the rest of my information, and then what I want to do next is go ahead and hit the Shift Enter button, and what that'll do is just add another line to it and uh, keep us going. We add our second piece of information, fill out all relevant information, and as you'll see now our OmniFocus screencast project is there waiting for us. And once we're done here, all we have to do is hit save, and these tasks will actually be added to the proper place in OmniFocus. We're going to quickly jump back into OmniFocus, and as you'll see, right at the bottom, there's your project along with the two tasks, and they're red because they're actually due today. And while we're here, I'm also going to jump back into the inbox and fill out all the relevant information for the initial task we set up. I'm going to add it to our OmniFocus screencast project, give it a context, and add a due date. From there, all we need to do is hit Command K, and what will happen is this will drop out of our inbox and be added to our project at the bottom. That really covers the basics of Capture, but now we're going to take things to the next level and start creating tasks using things like files, emails, text from a website or a document, and even something right in Evernote. As you can see, we have everything ready to go. A document open in Byword, a page open in Safari, some email and mail plane, and a document in Evernote. I also have a file right here on the desktop that I'm going to want to create a task from. We're going to head over to ByWord, and we're going to start by highlighting the text we want to create a task for. From there, instead of using the Quick Entry box, we're going to use the OmniFocus Clipper. You can also just set this from the Preferences menu. And as you'll see, it creates a task just like before, but in the Notes field, it pre-populates with your highlighted text. From there, just as you've done before, Fill in all of your information, your project, any context, start or due dates, and save that. Right now, we just put that into the inbox. Next up, we're going to jump right back into our web browser. I want to take David Sparks' amazing OmniFocus videos. Seriously, if you're looking to use OmniFocus, go to these videos. Highlight the text you want to copy. And when you evoke the clipper, you'll see not only the text, but a link that takes you directly back to your browser. I find this incredibly helpful for when doing research or just when browsing the web sparks some sort of a task. I throw this into our inbox. Now we're going to head back to our desktop and create a task from this file. You can actually do this from multiple files as well. Evoke the clipper, and as you'll see, there's your task along with the file in the notes field. Fill in your information, and for now we're just going to add it back into our inbox. For those looking to keep their desktop clean, you can even take the file, drag it into another folder, and the link will still work at a later date. Now we're going to jump into email. I created this message to myself, and as you can see, there's kind of part of the message I want for the task and part I don't. Simply highlight the information you do, evoke the clipper, and there you'll see your text, a link that takes you directly back to your email, and your message. Fill in any other information you might need save it to your inbox, and then we're just going to archive that message and move on. Last but not least, we're going to jump down into Evernote and create one final task. This isn't as easy as the rest, as OmniFocus doesn't work very well with Evernote, but there is a pretty easy way to do this. If you're in the individual file, just go up to the Note field in the menu and click Copy Note Link. If you're on the main screen, you can actually just right-click the note and hit Copy Note Link from there. Now we're going to go back and actually open the quick entry box this time, so we're not going to use the clipper. You'll enter in any information you need, and once you've got all that filled out, you're going to jump to that notes field at the end, and just paste in that link from Evernote. Enter any other information, hit save to add it to your inbox, and you're all set and good to go. Now let's jump back into OmniFocus, 
and take a look at all our different tasks. There's everything we added to the inbox, and once you expand that notes field, you'll see there's our clipping. When we go to our web clipping and click the link, it'll take us right back to the same page in Safari. We can close that back up. Take a look at our show note task, double click the file, and it'll open up in whatever application is needed. You can go to your email, click on the link, it'll take you directly back to the message you were working on, which is great for following up on the messages and keeping them out of your inbox. And if you go into your Evernote note, it'll take you directly to that particular note, which is incredibly fast and helpful for following up on reference material. And that about covers everything. Uh, just close up these notes. And the one thing you want to keep in mind is once you enter these things into your inbox, you really want to go in and fill out your project information, any context, start or due dates. And from there, you're good to go. To learn more, go to abettermess.com.